Welcome back to the 2024 NBA Draft Lottery presented by State Farm. All right, so plenty to talk about, but let's take a look at our draft expert, Jonathan Gavoni. He sees a couple of Frenchmen as le premier choix. Ooh. That was Google Translate. <laughs> and Zachary Rusache, Alex Saar, then of course those household names we know, Donovan Klingon of UConn and Rob Dillingham, as well as Serbian point guard. We just heard Woj mention him, Nikola Topic, rounds out a very international looking top five. So we've never had two foreign players go one and two overall. Woj, is there a consistency that's starting to build at all amongst GMs on which players are going to hear their names called early? Uh, Al, the, the only real consensus you talk to the executives who are in this lottery is that this is probably the most unsettled first round since 2013 mm. that was a draft where Anthony Bennett went number one overall and the two best players in that draft uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo Rudy Gobert they went 15th and 27th executives in this room say that if they walk out of this ballroom today with number one overall that they imagine they're gonna seriously consider four or five different candidates for number one between now and and the draft in Brooklyn in late June. We love those kinds of storylines, but who would you go with if you're the GM? Who's your number one pick? Well, as being a former big fella myself, I'm going with the big man who had dominated college, one of the best shot blockers in college, Donovan Klingon. Okay, when you talk about these young men, you cannot teach 7-3 and tenacity, okay? A brute force around the basket, a live threat around the basket, and on the defensive side of things, I think he could be coming into the league, a, a, a Walker Kessler or a Mark Williams with a ceiling of a Rudy Gobert, okay? Ceiling of a Rudy Gobert. That's how special he is. A little bit of speed work on that uh, speed ladder, and he could take it to another level. So let's take a look at the lottery odds for today, all right? We've got the Pistons and Wizards, both with a 14% chance to walk away with that coveted number one pick leading the pack of teams with more than a 10% chance. And here are the rest of the teams in the lottery. And I know their odds are lower than others, but just remember a few years ago, back in 2019, Woj, you talked about this, the New Orleans Pelicans won the lottery with only a 6% chance that year. And of course they used it to draft Zion Williamson. Certainly I've heard of them. And now it is time to meet the representatives who are on the stage today, trying to bring their respective teams a little bit of luck. And we start with Golden State, who's represented by guard Brandon Pajemski, who was the 19th pick in last year's NBA draft. Sacramento has sent forward Keegan Murray, the fourth pick in the 2022 NBA draft. I love that they're doing like a roll call here. <laughs> Representing Houston is head coach Ime Yudoka. His Rockets could walk away with two lottery picks today. Chicago has the only guy who honestly really didn't have to travel very far to get here forward, Julian Phillips. <laughs> Representing Atlanta is general manager Landry Fields. His team has never won the lottery before. Utah has sent former player and current broadcaster Thurl Bailey in his 33rd season with the Jazz organization. Representing Memphis is Tayshawn Prince, vice president of basketball affairs, and of course also a 2004 NBA champion. As for Toronto, they've sent 2024 NBA All-Star Scotty Barnes, who was taken fourth overall in 2021 after Toronto, got a little bit of lotto luck themselves to nab him there. And Scotty, with all that's at stake in keeping this pick in TDOT, what's going through your mind right now? You feeling good? Yeah, I'm excited. Um, excited for what we got building in Toronto. Uh, can't wait to introduce our new players to our team and just show what we're going to do next season. You know, we, it's going to be very special for us. So see who we get, uh, see what pick we get. This is maybe the easiest thing you've had to do as a member <laughs> of the team. Representing San Antonio is general manager Brian Wright. Portland is sent guard Scoot Henderson, the third pick of last year's draft, who led rookies with 5.4 assists per game. Scoot, your Blazers moved all the way to third last year on this stage took you so I know they're hoping that you're gonna pay it forward and bring them a little luck do you have any like right. rituals or superstitions that you do to bring your team some luck oh um, nah just pray <laughs> <laughs> I think you and everybody else yeah I think you and everybody else in this room what's more nerve-wracking playing or sitting there knowing there's not a ton you can do in terms of the odds mm, probably sit here because I can't control it <laughs> <laughs> Fair point. Well, good luck to you. Representing Charlotte is for forward Brandon Miller, who was second pick of last year's draft, second in rookie pan points to only Victor Wimbanyama with 17.3 points per game. As for Washington, they've sent Frenchman Bilal Koulibaly, who was the seventh pick of last year's draft. And finally, representing Detroit basketball, Asar Thompson, 
The fifth pick of last year's draft, Asar, is someone who was in their position a year ago. What would you tell the prospects here tonight about navigating their rookie campaign? Uh, I would definitely tell them to just work hard, have fun, and not be complacent. You know, and they can do whatever they want. We love that. Emphasis on don't be complacent. Well done. And here we go. You are looking at the NBA Chief Security Officer, Leon Newsom. He is escorting the only man in this ballroom who knows the results of the draft lottery, Mark Dielli from the accounting firm of Ernst & Young, who's delivering the sealed envelopes to the podium. It's all very serious in here. There's a hush in the crowd because the time has officially come. So we welcome in NBA Deputy Commissioner and Chief Operating Officer, Mark Tatum, who will reveal the lottery picks of the 2024 NBA Draft. Thank you, Elle and happy Mother's Day, and good luck, everyone. The 14th pick in the 2024 NBA Draft presented by State Farm will be made by the Portland Trailblazers. As expected, Portland receives this pick from Golden State, who could only have kept this pick if it had landed in the top four. The 13th pick belongs to the Sacramento Kings. Picking 12th will be the Oklahoma City Thunder. This also expected OKC receives this pick from Houston due to the Russell Westbrook Chris Paul trade. The 11th pick in the NBA draft will go to the Chicago Bulls. Pick number 10 will be made by the Utah Jazz. This means that Atlanta and Houston have both moved into the top four. You see those smiles. The ninth pick goes to the Memphis Grizzlies. The eighth pick will be made by the San Antonio Spurs. So San Antonio receives this pick due to the Yaka Pirtle trade. Had the pick remained in the top six, it would have stayed with Toronto. The seventh pick in the NBA draft belongs to the Portland Trailblazers. This means that San Antonio has also moved into the top four. Pick number six goes to the Charlotte Hornets. The fifth pick will be made by the Detroit Pistons. The fourth pick in the NBA draft goes to the San Antonio Spurs. The third pick belongs to the Houston Rockets. The second pick will be made by the Washington Wizards. And that means that the number one pick in the 2024 NBA Draft goes to the Atlanta Hawks. Wow, an absolute stunner. The Atlanta Hawks with the second lowest pre-draft position to end up with the number one pick. They have never won the lottery before. And I'm not saying that the girl that's on the desk that's from Atlanta <laughs> doing her first lottery had anything to do with it. But I'm just saying, can I get one of those City Connect jerseys? And again, most years between number one draft picks, because it has been some time for Atlanta, 1975, since that had that number one overall pick, it was David Thompson, Christine Williamson standing by with our winner. Yep, Landry Fields, the GM over there. And Atlanta, as Elle mentioned, she's hype about this. Obviously, you very, you're very hype as well. You talked recently about how the numbers don't lie. Of course, you were talking about the basketball court. Of course, number one also doesn't lie. How do you hope that this propels your team forward in the future? Well, I mean, it's a significant part of, of any team building strategy. So, I mean, this is exciting. Um, it's been, a while, it's been a while, and that, that turned out a little differently than hopefully what we'll uh, be expecting here for the future. But excited about this class, excited about continuing to build what we got going in Atlanta. Congrats, Landry. I appreciate it. Thank you. So once again, here is the official order of the NBA draft. Had a double jump with the Rockets and Atlanta. 
for the first time in franchise history wins the lottery. Spurs will pick twice in the top 10. Wow. I am really testing my professionalism right now. <laughs> now that we know the actual order, Woj, what is your biggest takeaway? Well, this is an Atlanta organization that is really looking to reshape this roster. And now Landry Fields, Quinn Snyder, they get a chance to tell players, you want to compete to be the number one overall pick in the draft? Come in, meet with us, work out. And they're in a tremendous position to jumpstart that organization. I'm looking at my Houston Rockets because I'm a Texas boy. Mm -hmm. You know, got third pick it is, and I think – you know, making moves, adding to what they already got. Jalen Green, Shangoon, you know, those guys took, those young fellas took strides. You got Fred Van Vliet there. Obviously, Ime Udoka is doing a hell of a job. They're moving in the right direction. They certainly are. I believe Chicago native son Curtis Mayfield made an entire song just about <laughs> this draft. It's called Move On Up. I'm lying. It's not a thing that he did at all. However, we take a look now that we officially have it. Jonathan Gavoni with his mock draft. You take a look right here, and he has the Hawks taking Alex Saar, the Wizards taking Zachary Reese In fact, we've only ever had two French-born players taken in the top five in history. That, of course, was Wimby last year and Dominique Wilkins. Also an Atlanta Hawk. I'm just saying. I'm connecting dots. I'm doing my best Brian Windhorst. For the rest of this mock draft, make sure to go to ESPN.com. And we're looking ahead because the draft combine from Chicago this week with coverage from Chicago both Tuesday and Wednesday. Of course, the draft just a little more than a month away. Two nights of coverage. First round Wednesday, June 26th on ESPN and ABC. Second round Thursday, June 27th on ESPN. Congratulations, ATL. Yo, they've been awarded the first pick of the 2024 NBA draft on behalf of our entire crew from Chicago. I'm L. Duncan. Happy Mother's Day. We send it out to Mike Breen for game four of the Knicks Pacers.